Danielle Rabkin. She owns CrossFit Golden Gate Gym, and she joins me now. Danielle, good morning to you. What do you think about this? San Francisco getting all cleaned up for China and not for residents like you. At first, I thought they were cleaning the areas. The media was making a way bigger deal out of this than it needed to be. Of course, we needed clean high security zones, but then I realized they were cleaning outside of those high security zones. And then that Newsom clip surfaced and it was abundantly obvious that they were cleaning because of optics and not security. Um, it is extremely frustrating. He doesn't care about having clean streets for the constituents he serves, but at the snap of a fingers, things are clean uh, just in time for this conference. Yeah, we're looking at some footage of the newly cleaned up San Francisco, but as a resident who saw the before and after in real time, how much different do things look now that it's cleaned up than it, than it did a few days ago? Well, it's funny. The city's always gotten away with being really poorly run, but uh, with work from home policies, people are starting to leave and uh, small business owners, the tax base is shrinking that small business owners are the ones suffering. Um, so it's it's really difficult to see that things are getting cleaned up uh, right as this uh, conference is coming and world leaders are about to come into the city. Yeah, do, did the level of homelessness and urine on the streets and the drug use, did it impact your business in terms of foot traffic? Oh, absolutely. People, like I said, with work from home, people don't have to be here anymore and they don't want to live in a place that doesn't feel clean and safe. So they're leaving. Um, like I said, our tax base is shrinking. Everyone's panicking that our budget is getting reduced. And as a small business owner who's been operating for over 11 years in the city, I can tell you with certainty that people are not here in the same numbers that they used to be. And we feel the pain tremendously. It's no secret that stores are closing left and right. This is not a media ploy. This is the real truth on the streets. Um, it is business owners like me who are feeling the squeeze and feeling the pain. People don't want to live here if they don't have to be here. It, it's a great city. It's beautiful. There's a lot of upsides. But at the end of the day, people want to feel clean and safe. Um, it's just astounding that with a $14 billion city budget, that that's not something the city can yeah, provide. Absolutely. It's called quality of life. And people who pay the, I'm sure, significant level of taxes that you pay as a taxpaying resident and business owner, you deserve the best quality of life imaginable and you weren't getting it before. And that's really one of the things is that if they cleaned up the city now, it proves that this was a choice, that they could have done it years ago. They chose not to. They chose to keep the tents on the streets and the drug use out in, in the public eye. Why do you think that that was the policy decision? I can't tell you that, but if it wasn't abundantly clear before, it is abundantly clear now that our leaders at the local and state level aren't totally incapable and incompetent. They just choose not to serve yeah. the people. They have so much hubris, they know that they're not going to lose their jobs. If they, you know, Newsom, good for him that he went into politics, because if he worked for a company where performance was important, he'd probably be unemployed and broke. <sighs> Yeah, very well said. Danielle, thank you so much for joining us. It's cleaned up now, so hopefully San Francisco stays that way in the future. We will be watching. Danielle, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day.